in the previous episode, I told you how you can set up an admin panel with admin bro package in less than 10 minutes. We created an auto-generated admin interface with all our resources, such as user, place, and the city. If you haven't watched that episode, don't worry, I will paste a link to the video in the comments below. In this episode, we will customize admin bro. So let's start. When we visit the admin bro documentation, we see that there are many available options. We can modify paths to login routes, resources, dashboard and branding. As you remember, in the admin router file, we initialize an admin bro instance with the default options. We passed root URL and our mongoose database. In the first step, let's use branding property to change logo and company name. Of course, we will use JSCast. Visit the page again. We see that we have to log in again because Express by default keeps session in memory. And since we use NoDemon to launch the app, the session is cleared every time we make a change. To simplify things, let's turn the authentication off for the time of development. So remove authentication parameter and change the router. Go back to admin panel and bypass the login page. OK, and we see that the new logo and company name appear in the top left corner. As you remember, we have a city model with name and description. Users and places are the elements which will be filled by our users. But cities are different because they will be filled by admins. So let's group them under a different section. Go back to the code. There are two ways of adding resources to admin bro. Either by passing an entire database as we did, or we can add each resource separately. The second option allows us to pass additional parameters. So let's do this with city model. Require it first. And now pass to resources array. Now let's define the parent which has a name. We will use admin content and an icon where we can use font awesome icon class. Let's use a cock icon. Refresh the page. And now city is in a different section. Okay, let's add a new city. We see that there is a description field which should contain HTML content. Let's adjust this property. Go back to the code. Add the properties parameter to the city options. We are modifying description, so let's use that. Now change the type to rich text. Let me add missing commas. Go back to the browser and refresh the page. Now we see that we can write HTML content easily. OK, let's see how the place resource looks. It has location with latitude and longitude. When we visit the item details page, it will be good to see them on a map. So let's implement that. Let's open the last site I visited. It is a Google Maps platform with information on how to add a map to your website. When you scroll down, there is a simple snippet of code which has to be pasted. Along with an import script. Go back to the settings. Now, pass the place to resources, because we would like to modify its properties as well. We will create a property map. Since this is a new virtual property, we will have to define a render function for a show action. All render functions take three arguments, property, record and some helpers. You can read about them in the admin bro documentation. 
the function returns an HTML which will be rendered. I will paste previously modified code which allows rendering a Google map. First, we render a div and then we define a JavaScript function which will change the div to a map. Next, we use our location data to center it in the right place. And the last thing we have to do is to include Google Maps API into the head section of the admin panel. We can use head property which takes two arrays, one for custom styles and one for custom scripts. We don't need styles, so let's leave it empty and add Google Maps to the scripts section. Okay, go back to the browser and refresh the page. And we see a Google Map. It is not well styled, so let's fix that. Admin Bro uses Bulma CSS framework, so let's use its classes. First, we define a wrapper div with a class card content. Next, goes a label div. We'll use the property parameter to print a name. And move our map div inside. Save. And refresh the page. It looks much better now. The last thing is that we want to show this property only on the details page. Let's ensure that by using is visible flag. It has four properties which has to be set. Refresh the page. And now our map is only visible on the details page. Okay, this is everything for now. I've shown you how to customize admin bro resources. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, subscribe to the channel. There will be a more episodes coming up next week.